Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be making a wild garlic and mushroom pizza. Now I've never used wild garlic before but it's basically green. Uh, I spotted it in Waitrose and I thought, ooh, that's different. And it's really strong, it really does smell like garlic. So I guess we'll see, if I just put it in my nose, yes. Uh, so I guess we'll see what it tastes like. I, might, I figured it would go nice with mushrooms though, so I guess we'll see what it comes out like, won't we? So we'll get this on, we'll get some for the latte, and then we'll put the wild garlic on and the mushrooms on, and we'll give it a taste. I'm quite looking forward to it though, because it's just something a wee bit different, isn't it? So we'll see what it's like. So get our for the latte on there. Do, 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 do. Did you like my wee sort of do 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 do? There for the latte. There we go. Nice and spread out. Half that button too. Right. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Now you can never get enough mushrooms. I love mushrooms. So we're going to get them on there. Because they're my favourite thing on a pizza. My favourite pizza is a mushroom pizza, so tell me what yours is in the comments. What's your favourite topping? What is the best pizza? For me it's mushroom. What about you, Lisa? Uh, I think um, anacone cheese, jalapenos, I think. Mm. One of my favourites. Yeah, that is nice. Okay, so the wild garlic, I'm not sure how much of this to put on because it does really smell like garlic, so it does. So I might be making this pure mega garlic -y. But that looks alright, doesn't it? And that looks nice. So there's our wild garlic. I have no idea if that's actually going to kill my mouth with garlic, but I guess we'll see, won't we? So let's put it in the oven and give it a try. Okay, so on the peel clothes. And then into the oven. Once we give it a wee stretch. Definitely enough mushrooms on there. Hope so. Right. Into the oven it goes. And we cook. So it smells. Mmm, smells really garlicky actually. And it's got a nice look to it, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. So let's go. Okay, now we get to taste it. I'm so excited. Oh, isn't that crispy crunch? Crispy crunch. Nice bottom cooked. Mmm, that's nice. It's got a really sort of subtle taste. I don't know what it says about it. Pesto's butter soups, bold in flavour. Yeah, I would definitely say the bold in flavour. That's probably a good description. You definitely get, it's a different taste from normal garlic. It's a sort of it lingers a bit longer, but it's nice, I like it. And it's sort of obviously more aesthetically pleasing than normal garlic, because you can't generally see that. So yeah, it's tasty, I like it, I like it. That's really nice, so yeah, give that a go. I might try making some pesto with it as well, because that would be a good idea. So yeah, give it a go, like, subscribe, check out the book. We'll see you next time, bye.